Hi there. In this video I just want to demonstrate using the plus transforms on the HP 50G. To do that I'm going to show you how to plot the step response of an underdamped second order system with and without a right half plane zero. So then we can compare the two step responses. The right half plane zero can cause performance limitations in a feedback system so that it's important to understand right half plane, the effect of right half plane zeros. So here I have two systems. I'll just factor them so you can clearly see what we have here. So here we have a, an underdamp second order system. The damping ratio is a half and the natural frequency is one. And X represents the Laplace variable here. Here we have the same system, but have added a right half plane zero at x is equal to one. It's important to remember that with the HP 50G to use Laplace transforms and inverse Laplace transforms, the CAS variable should be set to real exact. And I'm using the default CAS variable x for Laplace variable s and also for time. So let's find the inverse Laplace transform of this system. So here we just have, we're just computing the step response of this second order system. So we go to calculus, diff, inverse Laplace transform, and this gives us the step response. We can now go ahead and plot that. So here we have the step response of our underdamped second order system. In this system the final value is 1 because the DC gain of the system is 1 and we're putting in a unit step response. The damping ratio is a half so there is a slight overshoot. Now let's compute the same, the inverse Laplace transform of the same system but now with the right half plane 0 added. So this is this system here where I've added this right half plane 0. So again we find the inverse Laplace transform and go ahead and plot that. Now we're going to add it to the original plot and now you can see the effects of the right half plane zero. Initially the system goes in the opposite direction before catching up and then going in the right direction. In a way you can think of the right half plane zero as adding the effect of a delay to the system. Right half plane zeros limit the performance of closed loop feedback systems. So it's important to understand their effect and how you can observe them. Typically, you might find a right half plane, you will find a right half plane zero in an inverted pendulum, a boost converter, or systems with time delays, for instance, making a product like paper or sheet metal. To go back and recover our original system, we can just take the Laplace transform and evaluate, and we get back to our original system. Laplace transform, evaluate, and we get our original system back. So that's it. Having fun with the PLAS transforms and the HP 50G and also learning the importance of right half plane zeros in closed loop feedback control systems. Thanks for watching.